when I'm able to block off eight hours and do all this stuff ahead of time for a few of my clients, that frees up more of my time to help them with other things that I can be helping their business with. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back or returning subscriber, welcome back. I am so happy you decided to join me today. We are gonna be going over how to be more productive and how to manage your time better. This is something that I would consider myself an expert at. Yes, I know, hard to believe. But yes, I would consider myself an expert at time management. I have owned my own business now for three plus years. I have somebody working for me full time and I have other contractors that also do work and provide value to my company. I myself have to be really, really efficient and effective with my time in order for everybody else to be effective and efficient. So I wanna help you do the same and I wanna give you guys my tips that have really, really helped me and I wanna open this up as a discussion because if you have anything that you do if you have questions about something that I say let me know in the comments I'm here to help you win in this area and I would love to start the conversation with you and don't forget that I also manage a discord group there is a link in the description if you want to join and ask me questions on there as well if you're not comfortable posting it in the comments so the first thing to do if you are wanting to be more productive and manage your time better is schedule everything I use Google Calendar I'll throw it up here, you can take a look at it. But this is how I manage my time. I schedule out my workouts, my travel time, that's what TT stands for. That includes driving to and from the gym. I schedule that in because to me that makes more sense. It actually counts as time that I'm spending being at the gym or going somewhere to meet a client. So schedule everything in your day that you actually have in your day to get done, including breaks if you need to. And number two, I talk about this all the time. You've probably heard me talk about this in another video, but it is time blocking. So what I like to do with my clients, since I have multiple clients and I also have multiple people that work for me, is I block off my time for working on their specific tasks. So if I have one client and I have a bunch of things that are due for them and I have other people relying on those things, I will block off a certain period of my day where I only focus on their work. Even when I am doing my to-dos, I actually break them out based on the client. That is really effective because I can just go through an entire client's work list and get it all done. And it gives you better time estimates when you're working with different clients. Next, rewards and breaks. So reward yourself when you get done with a task or schedule in those breaks. So if you time block off three hours to work for one particular client, take a break after that. What's that? It's 10 to 30 minutes, whatever works for you. Take a break, go read a book, go for a walk, maybe do a mini workout at your house, do something. But do not use it for scrolling social media or doing something like that because all that's gonna do is flood your brain with things that it doesn't need to be flooded with. I used to, in my other videos, say you can reward yourself with social media or YouTube video. But actually, what I have found out that if you reward yourself with a YouTube video when you still have other work to do, the rest of your work is gonna suffer after you've watched that video. I know, I'm contradicting what I've said in other videos, but it's because I do these things that I talk to you guys about. So I used to reward myself with YouTube videos or episode of The Office or whatever. And what that would do for my productivity for the rest of the day is it would be declined because I kept thinking, oh man, I, I wish I could just be watching YouTube or I will go down the YouTube black hole and just keep watching stuff and so my 10 minute break turns into 40 minutes. Be mindful of where you are spending your time and where you are taking your breaks and where you're giving your energy to. I would say cut out social media and YouTube when you're actually working. And the next thing is get work done ahead of time. So for me, I manage a lot of social and a lot of content for a bunch of different types of companies. What I like to do on a Sunday or the very nearing end of a month is I will schedule out all their content for the month ahead of time. And I will also plan out their next batch of content ahead of time because I have content writers and graphic designers and video editors that help me create this content that I use. And I have to be able to give it to them and have it prepared for them and enough information to them to make sure that they get it done on time. So just be ahead Ahead, whether it's one week, two weeks, or even a month ahead in certain tasks, I recommend looking at the stuff that you have to do for your clients and figuring out what
what stuff can be batched together and done ahead of time. The next thing that you are going to want to do is automation. Automate things that you do not need to be spending your time doing. If you are a social media marketing person, there are so many things in that space that you can actually automate for yourself and for your clients. If you actually want me to create a list of those things and do a whole video on it, let me know in the comments. Be more than happy to share it with all the details. But a great tool just to give you is ifttt.com, if this then that.com. And that is a tool where you can help automate so many things, it's awesome. There's another great tool called Zapier that will also automate different tasks, especially if you have people working for you and working with you on your team. Zapier has integrations with Airtable, Google Sheets. Honestly, the list is really, really long, but you can set up what they're called as Zaps and it'll help automate menial tasks that you just don't need to be doing and that should be automated. Next thing I wanna talk about is email organization. And this also kind of pairs really well with automation because if you go into your Gmail, that's what I use, so this is what I'm referring to. You are able to create labels inside of your email provider if you use Gmail. What I do when I create these labels is I do them for my clients and then I also have needs response and that is in red meaning you see it, you need to stop, you need to respond. Those types of tags, I have some of them automated. So if a client sends me an email, it will automatically be tagged with that particular client name. I manually put the needs response if I've read an email quickly, but I don't have time to respond, but I know I need to, I'll mark it with the red needs response tag. But automating that type of thing is really great because if a client comes to me and they have a question and they don't remember something they sent me, I can just quickly go into their label and I will see all the emails that they have ever Ever sent me because I already had that set up in an automation inside of Gmail. If that is something you would also like me to do a video on, like a tutorial on how to do that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. But these are just certain things that are very small, but they can really add up in time throughout your day. So if you are able to do any of these or pick off a couple of them, it is gonna add so many hours onto your day, especially the automation and especially the doing work ahead of time. Those two things have shaved off so much time where I don't feel stressed and anxious. If you are in the freelance space or the entrepreneur space, as in you have an agency where you provide services to people, especially marketing and social media, I swear we live off of that anxious, the stress feeling and I was really sick of it. It was really doing poor things for my health and so I knew I needed to take a hold of it and actually do something with it to make my life better and also to make my clients work better because when I'm able to block off eight hours and do all this stuff ahead of time for a few of my clients, that frees up more of my time to help them with other things or to brainstorm and think of other ways that I can be helping their business win. So those are my tips for being more productive as an entrepreneur and to help better manage your time. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you and I hope you have an amazing day.